Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where I teach you everything I know about getting the job as a flight attendant. Today's topic is going to be the most requested one from you guys and it is how to write the flight attendant resume. So if you want to learn how to write yours, keep on watching. I'm going to give you some tips how to write your resume and how to format your resume if you are a previous flight attendant or you have other experiences before or if you are a fresh graduate and also how to write your cover letter so let's get right into it the first tip I want to give you guys when writing your resume is personalized personalized I mean is you have to research the company right so Whenever you can, write the name of the company, uh, write the CEO of the company, write the hiring manager. Nobody wants a generic letter sent to them. So if it is more personalized, it has a more positive feeling from the person who is reading it. And that person who is reading your resume is probably going to be the one to decide if you're going to be a flight attendant or not, right? So. On your cover letter, write the address of the company, write the company name, write the CEO of the company. It will have a much better effect that way. Did you also, a trivia, did you know that each hiring manager will take only 6 seconds to read your resume? 6 seconds guys. So better make sure that your resume is on fleek. Another tip that I have for you guys is use action words. When you use action words, when you are describing your previous job or your skills, for example, you want to say on your resume, on your previous experience as a flight attendant from this company, your duties are help greet passengers. Rather than saying that, why not say assisted passengers and instructed them on safety? So you see the difference? Um, the other one looks like you are helping in a much more different kind of way than the other one but they're both saying the same thing. My next tip is make sure that everything matches. Okay, So everything that is written on your resume should be a match to the flight attendant job. What do I mean by this? So don't put irrelevant stuff on your resume. For example, you hold the title and the fastest person to eat a hamburger in one minute. That's not related to the flight attendant position. So don't mind putting that on your resume. Some of the things that you need to match on the resume are the skill sets of a flight attendant and everything that is related to the job. For example, safety consciousness. Ex uh, excellent customer service, amenable communication skills, anything that is related to that. So for example, you won an essay writing contest or you, won, you are part of the debate team. Communication skills is one of the skills that a flight attendant needs so it matches so put it on the resume. On to the next tip. Use your transferable skills. What do I mean by this? For example, you have a previous job but it's not a flight attendant job. What will you do now with your skills from that job? Can it still be used on your resume to match the flight attendant job? Definitely yes. So use your skills on your previous job. You just have to be creative and think of things that might match the flight attendant position, right? So for example, I used to be a call center agent. So for me, um, on my example, I figured out that my communication skills is a plus the communication skills that i learned as a customer service representative is something that i put on my resume as a customer service agent i am, am tasked to deal with the problems of the person calling us so what is the work of a flight attendant deal with the problems of the passenger so even though they are different the one is on the phone and the other one is in person it's still the same skill so I put it on my resume put that in you my last tip for you guys is use examples so if you want to say that you are a team leader you are a team player you are a team captain <laughs> so you are someone who is good in 
in that aspect skill of a flight attendant then use example uh, I will use my experience as part of a swimming team as part of my example if I just put in my skill as a team player and I don't have an evidence why I'm a team player then that doesn't make a great case for me so if I put it there with an examples of how I, uh, I have exhibited my team player skills then it is much more believable and I am a much more better candidate than the others, right? <laughs> That's all my tip for you guys for your resume. If you are applying for the job as a flight attendant, make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet been subscribed already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Fly with you soon! Bye!